Hi, I welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in which I am going to discuss a problem that has been picked from the design and analysis of experiment by Montgomery on the randomized complete block design also known as shortly RCBD. In the RCBD, we block one of our Nysen factor and we have one factor of interest or main factor. So, in this problem, we want to find the effect of nozzle designs on the shape factor, whereas the velocity is considered as a Nysen factor. This was the data which we put in the mini tab, and I will let you know that how it's, what is the method to put the data for the randomized complete block design in the mini tab. So, what questions we will we are going to solve? Does nozzle design affect the shape factor? So for this question, we will have to apply ANOVA and we will take our main factor nozzle design as well as our, our Nysen's factor velocity both at the same time and we will check whether both of them are significant or not and then uh, with the same question we will get our answer that the nozzle design is significant or no. If no nozzle design is found to be significant then we will also perform a post hoc test and this post hoc test will be related to uh, the second part of this question that compare the nozzles so we can compare the nozzle with the help of one of the post hoc tests I am going to perform that is a Tukey's test and also will perform a scatter plot. So let's go to the mini tab. First of all enter the names of the variable then we will have to put the data. So our first column is the nozzle design and these rows represent the velocity. So but how we will put it? We say that this one at this uh, level 1 of nozzle design and level 1 of the jet flux velocity. We have our response variable 0 0.78. So we will call it 1, 1 and 0 0.78. So just like this you will enter the data. So we will say that 1 and 1 likewise 0 0.78. So now I am going to solve the second one. Then we will say 1, 2, 0 0.8. Level 1 of nozzle design, level 2 of the Nysen factor and 0 0.8. So likewise 1, 2 and 0 0.8. So in order to short this video that, that each at each nozzle design we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 uh, values of the velocity. So I will drag it. That These are two ones so uh, why not we drag it up till 6. We got 1. And then we have a six levels, so I'll say one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we have four levels, so right, only write two, then again uh, drag it for 12 row number, 12, then write three, drag it till 18, then write four, drag it till 20. So I think we have only four levels, one, two, three, okay, no, five, we have five levels. We come Till 30. So as we have six as we have six readings at each level of the nozzle design, so we can just copy them, copy it, and then paste. Then again copy, paste, and do it for all of the five levels of the nozzle. So in this way, you have done with your two independent variables. Now you have to just enter your response variable. Likewise, I'm going to fill a uh, three and three. So it means that third level of the nozzle design and third level of jet velocity. It comes out to be 0 0.95. We'll enter it 0.95. So in order to save, uh, let me uh, do it one or two more so that you will get the idea. Let me enter a 4, 5. So 4 means here nozzle design and 5 here the velocity 0 0.86. So 4, 5 is 0 0.86 and now uh, I'm going to enter let's say 53 or just 52 okay so 5 here and 2 5 from the nozzle design and 2 from this and it comes out to be 0 0.86 so it was 52 okay 0 0.86 so I've entered few values in order to save the video time I will enter the rest of the values and then we will do the analysis. All of the values have been entered. Now we'll go to STAT, then ANOVA, then GLM, General Linear Model, then FIT, General. The proper procedure to enter the values are click on the shape effect and then click on the way uh, on the place where you want to enter it. Then shape effect, 
click on select another way is that i want to enter the factors click on this uh, you can say area then click on jet double click on jet flex velocity and then i want to enter their nozzle design as well so i have clicked there and then i will double click the nozzle design okay so after that just click this ok button you will get the result in order to view the results completely please uh, click on this window so here it is saying uh, that I have in two factors, jet flex velocity, and there are six levels of it, and we have taken nozzle design. There are, we have five factors. Over and over results show that we have two sources of variation. The nozzle design is found to be significant with a p-value of 0.000, and the jet flex velocity is also found to be significant with a p-value of 0.007. However, nozzle design is more significant. So that's all about part A. Now come towards the part two compare the nozzles only so we will use the same data click on this window to get data only then click on stat after that ANOVA one way because we are only going to compare the nozzle design so my response variable is shape design click on it double click and then it comes up to factor and nozzle design please click this comparisons then to key and must click this uh, just check tests then click ok and then go to the graphs while doing the post hoc test i recommend you people to must draw the box plot of the data it will really help you to graphically visualize your uh, results then click ok now this test has been only performed from the for the nozzle design so there are only five factors and an is found to be significant however we are interested at which of the nozzle design is significantly different from each other which of the two nozzle designs so we can also see from this graphical uh, representation as well as we have this numerical values so the values that have maximum difference so here we can see that the maximum difference is found to be 0 0.1617 between the two levels 1 and 4 if we see it gra uh, visually so we can see the 1 is the minimum value level one of the nozzle design and whereas the four has the maximum value so the difference is maximum that has been observed numerically in the table as well as if we see here four one this combination so this combination is far away from this center dotted line so this one thing that factor level one and level four has the maximum difference among themselves now in order to draw the plot click on again the data go to graph go to the scatter plots for the first one then click on this simple one click ok after that uh, click your y variables as your shape effect x variable your nozzle design and then just click this ok button and we will get our scatter plot now we'll discuss the second scatter plot this scatter plot tells us that the minimum variation is uh, for the level 1 of the nozzle design. However, the maximum variation is uh, in the level 4 of this design. You can see this maximum one of the outlier or you can say the highest value has make this value level 4 has the, has the highest mean of in the whole data. The next question is analyze the residuals from this experiment. To analyze the residuals, go to stat. ANOVA one way then graphs here you check all of them okay four in one means you will see all of these four plots of the residuals click ok and then in the storage please click this residuals so you will get the residual values in this sheet as well click the ok button you will get few graphs in these graphs you can analyze the ANOVA assumptions the first one and this third one you can say the data is found to be normally distributed somehow however it is slightly skewed how we can say that the data is found to be normally distributed from this fourth graph observation versus residual there are no cyclic patterns are found in this data so we can say that the data values are independent from each other this graph number two fitted values versus residual it have it has a little bit problem that we have this uh, level level 5 it has the maximum variance as well as level 1 has the minimum variance so although the variance is not seen to be a uh, same or a constant however we will say that data is somehow seems to be constant variance so 
These residual plots are used for the satisfaction of the ANOVA assumptions. My WhatsApp number has been provided. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments or on my WhatsApp. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.